Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Oh my goodness, it has been quite some time since my last vlog. Literally think the last time I vlogged was mid, early December, but here we are. My goodness, uh, my precious baby girl is so big now. Oh my goodness. Say hello. Say hello. My sweet baby girl turned one. Y'all, how can it be? How can it be? We have to say slow down time. Please slow down. So, yeah, Olivia turned one. That happened. My goodness. So, I got a little burnt out on vlogging, filming, after my 12 days of Christmas series, I went straight into Valentine's Day mode. I typically take a break in January and just like skipped that. So, been a little inconsistent, but I'm ready to get back. If you've missed it, let's see what I have out. I'm hoping this goes up before Easter, but I'm not really sure. Um, if it does, I have a two. I have two Dollar Tree Spring and Easter hauls. One of them is like a huge spring jackpot Easter haul. I think it was a literally 30 minutes long, y'all. I found all the goods. And then I did another spring Dollar Tree haul with all of the amazing storage containers. Yes, please. Dollar Tree has some amazing baskets, totes, um, tubs, so many great little items like that in the most perfect colors for us it is a baby girl pink i have some of them some of the baskets over here because we're actually in olivia's playroom yay olivia got a playroom we didn't have a big like birthday celebration i'm hoping that the world will have some sort of normalcy by her second birthday but we did do a little drive-by celebration and mark and i got olivia a couple of things to like you know start a playroom and my dad sister and meg got her a few things for the playroom as well um she also got a little washer and dryer from my aunt and my uncle and it's so cute so her little playroom is coming along i still have some decor that needs to go up on the walls i'll probably bring you guys along or maybe like do a tour once it's all set up but like i was saying about all of those storage baskets i got a lot of that for like her toys in the baby girl pink if you're not into the pink they also had gray white tiffany blue and a really pretty coral uh and you know how dollar tree is they're like ahead of the game always people are showing that they are finding the summer color baskets already so head to dt to score some amazing storage containers it's time to spring clean get organized declutter and put those baskets to use which i got a lot of those baskets for here we are using some in the living room because she does have um you know some toys out there and then whatever else i will use in her room upstairs so I have those hauls going on. I also have another Walmart and Target spring Easter haul that I can have linked in the description box below for you guys. Uh, hello. And if it is before Easter, I have a $10 treat gift basket ideas. Yes, please. Okay guys, all of that talking and my battery died. So I had to switch it out and I need to go put this one on the charger or I actually need to go plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I am going to share a little Aldi haul with y'all. So let me pull everything out. Okay guys, by little Aldi haul, I mean like mini haul. We needed some bell peppers and zucchini. That is the only food item. Uh, or food items, I'm sorry. We also have the coloring cups with the dye tablets. This glitz and glimmer Easter egg decorating kit. And then I have some items for Miss Olivia's Easter basket. So this little book is so adorable. I believe the books were $3.99. This one is so cute. It's a little bunny and it's called Baby Bunny. It's in the shape of a bunny. It even has like a little tail. 
I thought that this one was so, so cute. And then we have this one, Hatch, Lift a Flap by Heather Brown. So I actually have three books for her Easter basket. At this point, it's going to be like an Easter basket with a whole bunch of stuff on the side, probably. I thought this little book was so cute. A goldfish. This is going to be so cute. She's going to love this. The baby turtle. So those books I believe were $3.99. And then these little items were $4.99. And they are so cute. I don't know. I think that these were from like maybe last week or the week before. So this is the only ones that they have left. So I don't know if there was another one. Like maybe I'm missing one. But we have Frozen. We have Snow White, and we have Cinderella. How stinking cute are these? And then you can like attach them. Okay, so I have them all attached. Oh my goodness. These are so cute, y'all. I literally cannot. Um, and now I'm so curious to know if there was another one. I don't know, but these are the only ones they have, and they are just too cute. The age range is one and a half to five. I supervise her at all times, so she'll she'll be good with these. Here is another Aldi find of the week, and it is the springtime wheelbarrow. It is too singing cute. I believe it comes with these two little gardening tools. This is adorable. This was, I believe, $24.99. I believe regular price online when I looked it up, it was $45. And I think it might have been on sale for $39 or $34. But at Aldi this week, $24.99. All righty, time for Miss Olivia to have a little snacky snack. Hi, baby. She's looking at her swing outside. We'll go swing after this, okay? It has been a little while Miss Olivia took a nap, then we have lunch, and she is playing for a little while. Um, wanted to show y'all a couple of Dollar Tree items. So this is one of the Dollar Tree like spring baskets. I actually did not haul this one. I think we have like four or six of these. I think I bought four, and then I think, I know Megan gave Olivia one. I think it, did it have her Valentine's Day stuff in it? And then I think my mom gave me one with Valentine's Day. Yeah, so we, I think we have six of these. Um, love them, y'all. And it's that pretty, pretty baby girl pink. It's probably a little washed out right now because I'm sitting in front of all of these windows. We have a lot of them down here filled with her toys. And I wanted to share these Easter eggs with y'all because Dollar Tree still is fully stocked on Easter eggs. Or at least a lot of the Dollar Trees that I've gone to. And I wish that I would have picked up more of these. I only picked up one of each pack. And they are the little cars. I wish that I would have picked up more of them. They're cute little Easter egg cars. They do open up, but they're actually really hard to open up. There we go. Super cute. So you could use these in your kids' Easter baskets and then use them for play. These are great for little activities. Maybe if you have like one of those little like rugs. Olivia, where you... She just opened the gate. So much for the little gate. Olivia, get over here. So she's not walking, walking like by herself, but she can walk when she's holding onto something like her little walker or when she's holding on to the couch um okay so then we also have the little egg trucks 
Y'all, these are so stinking cute. I think you get six of them for a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. Olivia absolutely loves them. I gotta go. She's gone. Okay, guys, I have another new system going on here. I ordered this little binder off Amazon. I've had it for a couple of weeks now and absolutely love it. It I would moved out of my little, I have one of those like little Dollar Tree, like accordion envelope type things. Um, I like to set like certain money aside for different things. There's like a whole, there's like a budgeting community on YouTube if you're interested in it. And there's a cash envelope system for like beginners on YouTube. If you're interested in those videos, I would look them up. But I moved into this little system here with these little envelopes and I haven't like done anything with the dashboard yet. I was thinking about maybe tonight working on that or maybe tomorrow. Okay guys, I had to pick Miss Olivia up so I'm doing this with one hand so I can't really show very much of it. Uh, if I do work on the little dashboard tonight, I will let you guys see how that looks. Hey guys, it's actually the next day. Made some iced coffee, yum. A couple of things, I am currently really loving iced coffee. Mark is more of an iced coffee kind of man. And I love just a good old cup of hot joe. Like I love my hot coffee. But we've been trying out some new things for Mark's like cold brew. This is actually cold brew. Mm. and it's so good um and I get that question if Mark equally likes his coffee as much as I do or even if Mark drinks coffee and I would say he drinks more coffee than I do believe it or not there are some days that the morning time just gets so busy and before you know it it's like super late and I haven't had my coffee um and Mark like he doesn't miss out on his coffee let me just say that so oh I did show like me making my little iced coffee and I got a lot of questions because I've made a reel over on Instagram. Oh my goodness, like I don't know, probably at this point a month ago. And I showed me like scooping out my um my ice to put in my mason jar and everybody wanted to know about the ice. And y'all, the secret is it's just sonic ice. We go and buy a sonic ice by the bag and just put it in our little like container thing in the freezer and I have a metal I don't know if it's metal I'm guessing it is I have this like little ice scooper that came with an ice bucket from Target and I just like keep it next to the fridge and that's what I use to scoop it out um, because you will need to like chop it up a little bit sometimes depending on like how like packed you put it in there super easy love it it is the best ice I also make a little like concoction of like creamer stuff. I can save that for another day. Uh, yeah, yesterday I just got super, super tired. We ended up going to pick up food in a Target order and came home, ate, and I was, I was done for the day. So today, oh, I actually started editing this vlog like before I went to bed last night and I was like, okay. I don't want the video to be too long. Let me know in the comments down below what you prefer. I prefer longer vlogs whenever I'm watching someone. I can like put it on, do the dishes, fold clothes. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. I have all of Olivia's. I don't have all of Olivia's. I have a lot of Olivia's like Easter basket stuff here that I need to get to working on. I'm also gathering things to take her Easter pictures um in the backyard so 
those are the couple of things that I'll be working on today but I don't want this video to be too long so I may I'm probably not gonna vlog for the whole day we'll see okay so I have been gathering all of the stuff that I got for Miss Olivia's Easter basket. This is some stuff that I actually put in her basket last year, you know, just to make it like cutesy. Like these little uh, gingham eggs are actually little um, Easter egg picks from Hobby Lobby. And I may put those in her basket again and it could be like something that I put in there every year. This is the basket that I had for her last year. So I'm probably going to reuse this basket. I may reuse it every year. Let me know what you guys do in the comments down below. Do you reuse the same basket every year or do you do a new different basket every year? Um, this is the basket that my mom got Olivia last year. Sorry, I had to put the ring light out so that it wouldn't be so dark in here. This is the basket that my mom had for Olivia last year. She isn't going to reuse it this year. She bought her a whole new basket, but it's so pretty that I think I might reuse it. I probably, I, I'm not sure yet. So I need to work on organizing all of the stuff that I got for her to get everything ready. We've been reusing this little Easter basket for Olivia to play with. And the funny thing is that I got her these little eggs last year. I put them in her Easter basket. And they're super duper cute. She was in the NICU and now she can play with them. Look at Miss Olivia's outfit today. It is so stinking cute. I just love it. My mom got her this little outfit. If you're wondering, I think it was from TJ Maxx. It's a little Jessica Simpson, like one piece little romper duo. It's a Jessica Simpson one piece, but it came with a little headband, y'all. Olivia, why are you growing up so fast? Yeah, Dada. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, if you have been following along our journey since this time last year with having Miss Olivia, you know, prematurely and our NICU stay, our NICU life and our preemie life, this just like brings me so much joy. It just, everything is coming full, cir full circle. <laughs> she was in a little isolate this time last year and I was praying and just waiting for the day for her to come home and she's here and she's playing yeah Olivia what are you doing yeah Look at her hair, y'all. Like, she, I never noticed. I mean, and clearly, like, I would vlog and take pictures and stuff. But she was, you know, a, a little on the bald side. <laughs> she didn't have very much hair. And then, as we've been going back looking at older pictures, I was like, oh, my goodness. Now she has so much hair. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, Miss Olivia. Are you so happy? She is such a happy baby. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's vlog here since it's like a day and a half. I will probably restart a new vlog as soon as I end this one because gonna be putting her basket together and we are going to do a little like Easter craft now that Mark's here and Mark's actually taking a little nap right there <laughs> um so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'm just gonna try to get back into the swing of things if you did enjoy it and you like seeing our vlogs definitely give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and it lets YouTube know that you want to see my videos in your feed 
So, you know the drill. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next uploads. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a love